So since uh, I already done the max 30 sweat intervals for y'all before, I thought I would show you my routine today that I was doing at the gym. Um, today was chest and delts day, so yes, one of my favorite days. I'm actually starting to learn that every day is my favorite day. <laughs> um, every body part is important. For ladies, a lot of times I think we overlook the fact that we still need to work our chest and we still need to work our shoulders, and we concentrate so much on our legs and our glutes. But in order to have the nice proportionate body, um, you need to have all things worked. With that being said, um, the broader your shoulders are, the smaller your waist will look as well. So that's another good thing about working your shoulders and um, trying to make that a little bit larger for you. Is going to make a V taper look for you to where your waist looks a little bit smaller. So who doesn't want a smaller waist? Um, so what I did a little bit different today is actually went out of order because at the gym today, it's, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I walked straight in and went straight to the free weights and didn't even go to the Smith machine. So I did it a little bit backwards. Um, I started out with my lateral raises. And when you do your lateral raises, you, you're going to want to go down in your weight um, for today's routine anyway, because you're really going to want to go slow and concentrate on squeezing as you go up. Um, and sometimes if you use a heavier weight, you'll tend to almost do a kip where you go and you bounce with it, and that's cheating. And you don't want to do that. You really want to isolate it. Um, so try to go low. I was using 10s and 15s. So the first two sets, I did 10s, and then the second two sets, I went up to 15. Yeah, can I do heavier weight? I, I can, but you'll see I also will start doing the whole kipping thing. Um, and doing a little bit of the bob and cheating. After I did that, I went and did the Smith Machine overhead press. I love that one. <laughs> um, you should be using that one, do two sets of 15 for your warm up, and then go into your actual um, weightlifting section of it, um, because that should have been my first move for today, but like I said, I did it totally off today, so that was actually my second exercise today. Um, and with that one, you want to go heavy. Now, when you say go heavy, I know you think like, oh, I should be doing 60. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. I did 40, 50, 50, and then at the last time I did 60. You're only doing sets of six, so go as heavy as you can without hurting yourself and make sure that when you're doing it that you're not arching your back. Sometimes you'll have the tendency when you have your arms up here, you'll want to lean back a little bit, and then you're actually using a little bit more of your front of your shoulders and chest instead of isolating. So try to sit straight in the bench with your back up against the back of the bench and then do it. And you, I do it where the bar goes right behind my head. So I'll pull my bench forward just a little bit so that way it can slide behind my head and still use um, the proper form for that. Um, then I went back and I did the plate overhead raises followed directly by so here's a superset. A superset is when you do one exercise and then immediately go into the next one without any break. So I did the plate raises and then immediately went into the delts. Um, again, go a little bit lighter on your flies because again, you're going to want to isolate your delt muscle when you're doing that. And again, if you um, go with the heavy weight, you're going to do that whole, you know, bobbing thing again. And I see that all too often at the gym. And when you're doing that, you're not doing any good, people. I'm just saying, you just look ridiculous. So if you're doing all of this crap, stop. Stop doing that. Lower your weight and go more in a slow, controlled. Um, and so you want to keep your back straight and just lean a little bit forward and then raise it. And you'll see 
these will start to pop up. I'm kind of swollen right now anyway, but um, you want to do a control and you want to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze really hard once you go up to the top. Um, and then after that, I went up to the upright rows. Now normally I'll use a straight bar, but they were all taken. So I use dumbbells instead. And what's important when you do your, um, your straight bar or dumbbell upright rows, again, you wanna isolate. So hold the dumbbells like today I did dumbbells. So hold them straight down in front of your legs. Keep your chest high and your shoulders back. And then as you raise them up, again, you wanna just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You want your elbows to be up higher. So try to concentrate on keeping your elbows high um, and go all the way up to right below your chin. And then as you come down, keep your hands straight. Um, a lot of times, again, I see people that go too heavy and you start doing the bobbing, don't be the bobbing. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that. Lower your weight and just try to isolate the muscle more. It'll be more effective in the long run. Um, after that, I went and I did my push-ups. Now my push-ups, I should be doing three sets of 12, but it's just gotten too easy for me. <laughs> Who would have known? I used to suck at push-ups, so that's pretty exciting for me. Um, instead of doing three sets of 12, I just knock out all of them in one set um, and do just one giant set with that. It's really just to warm up your chest muscles because we're fixing to start doing the chest exercise, get away from the delts. So the first move that I do with the chest exercise is I do the incline dumbbell press. Um, I struggle with that one. I don't know that I can go too much heavier just because of the placement of where it's at. Um, you're pretty whooped by the time you get to this section. You, if you've done it right, you've exhausted yourself. So by the time I got here, I was only able to do two sets with 25s, and then I did two sets with, uh, or I did one set of 30, and then my heaviest set was the 35s. Um, but I'm at a sticking point where I don't know that I can go up to 40s, because that's just too much. So next week, I'll probably just do two sets of 35s and, um, instead of a 30 and then a 35. So again, that's a tip. If you get to a sticking point where you just can't go up any higher, just do an extra uh, set with the same heavy max weight that you used the week before. Um, after that, I did incline flies. Um, that pretty much speaks for itself. Um, again, form is so important, guys. I can't speak highly enough about form. Um, the incline flies, I was doing two sets of 15s, a set with 20s, and then a set with 25s. I won't go any higher because on the 25s, my form started being a little bit um, off. I found that uh, I wasn't doing it all the way. I was kind of doing a little bit of a cheapskate going on. I do it too, guys. I know. <laughs> um, I have to tell myself sometimes to drop the ego and, and just keep proper form. So um, next week, I'll stay with the same weight, so I won't go up on that. And then the very last move that we do, and I don't think I got it on video, I forgot about it, is the dumbbell hex press. Again, it's basically just a closed grip chest press. Um, and I just did 40s the entire time. And I tell you what, that was more than enough. If you really concentrate as you keep your, your dumbbells together, it's, it's really focusing more on the inside of your chest. So as you press it up, squeeze your pectoral muscles as hard as you can once you get to the top. And um, you'll feel it. Trust me, you'll feel it. <laughs> anyway, that was my routine for the day. Um, tonight, I will still do Insanity Max 30, and I'll begin sweat intervals. But like I said, um, I've already posted that video, so I'm not going to repost it again. But I look forward to it. And then tomorrow, um, tomorrow is going to be arm days, I believe. So I'll try to bring you to the gym with me tomorrow as well. That way you can get a video of what my arm day looks like. Um, and then I'll also do the video of uh, Tabata strength. So that should be exciting and interesting. Anyways, guys, thanks for following along. If you have questions or anything, let me know. And again, uh, tip of the day is drop your weight and keep your form. There's no sense in trying to have a big ego at the gym or anything like that. I'm speaking to myself as I say that because... I let my ego get away in the way of me at times as well. Anyway, bye guys. Thanks for following along.